one owner car guy and this is kind of an update of sort and I'm gonna throw in a walk around after this so you'll see a lot walk around I don't know which one it is I did two and two and basically it's one of them um, I've got about 20 films out in front of myself here with about five cars that I'm weeding in there just as soon as I can get them weather's been kind of a pain um, I got lots of them coming up uh, most of all biggest update I'm clearing out about 50 cars minimum 50 um, and I'm selling them cheap and I'm doing it in the next 45 days um, so if you see anything that you want on any of these videos you need to call me as soon as you can 406-544-6919 and I'll make you a smoking deal um, get it while you can because some of them will be, be some of them if they're not that nice or something they'll be being taken apart because I got so much in parts around but a lot of them will be being sold out and um, I'm gonna wholesale some to dealers um, some of them I might even put through an auction. Uh, I'm kind of closing one of my storage lots, so I'm not going to have as much space. And I'm kind of moving stuff around right now. Um, hot new business things coming up. It's just, you're going to love it. Um, I've got a brand new contest coming up, and I'm going to be giving away a free car. Um, I don't have all the details yet, and it's going to be a little while before I get everything out. So which car it is and all that kind of stuff, I don't have that yet. It's a free car. And it's going to be a nice free car. And you ain't going to have to buy a ticket or none of that stuff. You're going to have to qualify and you're going to have to do some cool stuff to get it. But free car. Um, anyways, check out my walk around here. Make sure to subscribe. Share. If you share my videos um, and if you like my videos and you comment, it really helps me out. And I really appreciate it. Um, also, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. I do all kinds of Euro, Muscle, and Classic Cars and I sell them cheap. CerealMarshmallows.com, www.CerealMarshmallows.com. You can get the same marshmallows as in your morning breakfast cereal, but no cereal. BeaglesPocket.com, miniature beagles. Um, StockGambles.com, $10 off soda stream coupon. And all kinds of stock um, advice, and not advice, not advice, don't do what I do. Stock tips and little things and just write-ups and reviews of the stock and what I think of them. Don't do what I do. You could lose everything you put into one of these stocks. It is a gamble. Hence, stock gambles. Anyways, one owner car guy, all kinds of clean classic Euro. Mo it's Cat! Hi, Cat! I'm in here by his bathroom and his food, and that's what his problem is. But, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Check out my um, other videos here. Subscribe, comment, like, share, and check out my websites. Um, Beaglespocket.com. I got a new litter coming. They'll be ready to sell in about four weeks. Um, you'll see some videos of them coming up. All kinds of cool videos coming from my trip. Um, took I got a jackpot. I won a jackpot in one of the casino machines. I got a video of that and everything. and All kinds of cool videos. Um, and instead of just doing like two, three cars a week and that's it, just two, three cars a week, I figure what I'm trying to do now is two, three cars a week, four when I can, and put other movies in there and videos in there to where I've got content every day. And every day I'm putting out, I'm trying to put out two videos a day and sometimes three. Just depends on the day. I've got lots of stuff. And I figured, hey, why not put it all up here? I will split some of it to different channels later, but this is just an update, just a hello. If you see something you want, call me now. I you won't find a better deal in the whole wide world. Um, Nathan, 406-544-6919, clearing out 50 of them. So give me a ring. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. We'll see ya. OneOwnerCarGuy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And I got lots of classic cars. This red Porsche is still getting out of here. Citron should be leaving soon. Citron. New S-Class coming up. You've seen this one with the top getting painted in the interior shop doing the faces of the seats there. Um, paraglider. I'm going to take a little video of it just to where somebody can see it. I had a couple people ask and I'm going to include it in my walk around to where they can see exactly what it is and everything. And as you see you got your hand and all this stuff. I don't know what all the buttons are for buttons on each end of it though and you got the double strap you're strapped in this way and in these straps however this all works with the belt thing coming across the front I two belts I don't know how all that works man you got pouches everywhere and not gonna be able to open that in the front now we started it up geez took the battery out my guy started it up with the battery on the ground and whap hit the prop 225 bucks yes sir so you're gonna need to get one of them 
It's in great shape. I don't think it's hardly ever been ran. Everything is super fresh on it. You should be able to check this out in HD. It's super fresh. Would I go up in the air in it? I don't know. I know I'd run around on the ground with it in circles. I know that's how you steer it on the ground. So, going outside, got new stuff in. Somebody's been messing with Mandy, got her arms all up in the air. That S is beautiful. Hi, Breeder. So, new stuff. 300E, one of the last year models with the 3.2 liter straight six. Yeah, buddy. Can't beat that, that's all there is to it. Beautiful car. Um, I've got all kinds of them here that I was gonna go over with you. Uh, there's a Crown Vic there. This here, you seen, I had faded side pieces. Well, as you can see, they're not faded no more. I got a color mask and had them painted. I also had the same thing done to the hood. And it came out beautiful. It looks great. You can never tell once it's all detailed. I just want to... I wanted to fix the fading and stuff. And I probably will touch them up a bit too. Roof we did. So this car, it looks great. Uh, get down there and show you the RX-7. Um, I'm going to go over to the other side here and show you another new one that came in. The Skylark's going. Low mileage, man. Got a 98 Cobra. I think it's a 98. Beautiful car. Show you the inside. The Civic's leaving. That one I'll make you a smoking deal on. The Brooklyn, Peugeot, anything you see. Um, it might not all be on my website, oneownercarguy.com, but it will for sure have me in this walk around video and you're welcome to call me I love the sound of these SVT Mustangs I really do I like the hoods on them and the back ends too they're beautiful cars as are these little Civics the Peugeot is going out man it's going to Florida 220S. I'm mainly walking back to show you some new cars that came in, some really neat new cars, like this one. Another 140. And what have I got to tell you about this one? Oh, just that, that right there. Yes, sirree. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Peanut butter. Oh, man. I think the seats sold me on this car. That's all there is to it. I love the seats. Beautiful. Now, if the car was bright, deep, metallic green, woo, buddy! Now we're talking. 90,000, one owner miles. Um, it's gonna show you the Shasta for the hell of it. And Samantha is getting me to see her. Um, somebody just showed up in a 2002 BMW it's buying a car. Handle's a little snapped on that, but absolutely beautiful little Shasta. Little baby motorhome, man. Straight six Ford. Not a huge one. That's not what she said. Go out here and see that. There he is. Now, this gentleman is buying a couple um, Range Rovers from me. The black one over there is leaving as is the white one downstairs that has the oil pump issue, if you know much about my channel. Sunbird, and it hasn't been buffed or nothing, it ain't done nothing to it, it's got dust all over it. Coupe, Ellie. Needs detailed and such, but it's very low miles. And one owner, them sun visors fell apart, didn't they? Lincoln, I showed you that. I care less if I ever sell that Buick. This one here, I'll make a deal on. 1495, 360, one owner. Get that battery off the back of that. The Toyota Corolla, man, a lot of interest in that thing. A lot of interest. And you've probably seen this in my walk around. And I believe I just had somebody that got everything right and guessed everything. 
I don't know. See, somebody didn't shut that all the way. Or we went dead. And there's clues in this here trailer. And some of it's right there. And I'm figuring the contest be over. That's why I'm saying that, but super cool motorhome, coach, whatever you want to call it. It's solar charging. Huh, that's interesting. I'll show you something else, another clue here. Right there. That is your clue. But like I say, me thinks it's over. And that's that. We'll see what happened to this. I'll have to ask him. Maybe it's dead. Now this. How about this? Clean as can be. I'm gonna be going over a review of this one. This gentleman used to drive this car back and forth to Canada from Redondo Beach. Factory sunroofed out car. It'll pop it all. One owner. One owner. Look at this. The data car. Wow, 24.2 gallons. Ha! Got numbers written in there. That is cool stuff. Well, I'll bet you... I don't even know what's in here. Who knows? I gotta look at that. Hey, Trent! <laughs> Start this thing up. Now there's something special about this one. Feel that? Ride engineered. Never seen a sticker like that on one. Or in one. I still, you still have it. There you go. Trent. Is there a window sticker or anything in here? Be careful. What's interesting about this? Wow! Another thing of this? These are more receipts? Oh my god! Okay, there's a receipt book here of all this. And then there's this. Okay, everything ever done to it, mind you. And I want to point out this. I do one owner, low owner cars, low mile clean stuff. Well, you know, you can guess. Hey, that thing's got 112. When you see the guy's stuff and you start going, your guessing don't mean nothing when you realize that your car actually has 312,000 original miles. Why do I say original when it's that many? Because I've got it. I know how many they are. And, oh wow, radio works and everything. I just got this in. All power options. I called the shop that maintained it for him and talked to them. Very nice gentleman that helped me out there. And if you're in Redondo Beach and need a shop, I will actually look his number up for you and find it for you if you need it because he really helped me out and by telling me about this. I guess the gentleman passed away, but he used to drive it back and forth to Canada. And he was a war veteran and spent most of his time at the Maritime Museum there in Redondo Beach or wherever it is up by that area. Super cool car, super clean. This thing had to be garaged, sunroof and everything. Um, other than that, I'm going to finish my walk around here and show you some more stuff. Um, and one right here, the 600, they got it back up now. Um, I'll have a review of this one coming up soon. Another 600. 123. That's the Range Rover that's leaving. Um, I, full reviews of all that. A little two, 200 SX. I wanted to say 240 there. E plate, I believe it's the one owner. Um, clean as can be. I mean, it's got your obvious clear coat fade, but uh, 73,000 original miles. Super clean. 84. 
I'll start to laminate or whatever, turn a little yellow. Yellowing, that'd be better than laminated or whatever. Wow, it was put on to protect it to where, protect it, there's a few cracks. Yeah, that's kind of chewed up from having your arm on it and having the sun wear them things out. So, light project for some, oh man, that clothes is nice. But the cool thing is getting something that has this kind of miles. Some people are trunk men, some people were breast men. I like opening the trunks here. So, you know, you can't say that kind of stuff in videos when you're trying to sell a car. It just ain't right. Little titties all over the bottom of the tire. It ain't never been on the road here. God, this thing's clean. Now he's talking about titties. Turn the video off, honey. Well, well instructions for this. This is a boot? A bra? Is this a bra or a boot? Do you know? A bra. They were talking about junk in the trunk and bras on your breasts and all that stuff because it's all in the, right here. Extra factory ordered hose. I'm pretty sure this is a one owner. It's a one or two. Check my video. Yeah, I'm taking a little bit too much time. Ooh, with the jack and the jack cover. A lot brand new. Show you the RX-7. GSLSE? GSLSE? I think that's what it is. GSESL? G I know, I really messed myself up. GSLSE. There you go. Beautiful car. Got them really cool alloy wheels. Leathered out with the five speed. Around a hundred thou or so on it. One or two owner. And it's clean as can be. Checking and lubing and making sure things are in order on it. That one will be up soon. Um, I'm just going to take a quick walk around back here, show you a few more on the way out, what we got going on, that kind of stuff. I love that International Scout. On my last walk around my thousandth video, I showed that one. Malibu Classic. I just got this bad boy in. It's clean as can be. When do you see the back seat? I don't think anybody ever sat in that back seat. Look at how crisp that is. Buzzer. I don't know how crisp the fronts are. Not that the fronts aren't crisp. Not only that, look at this. I love cool, well-maintained stuff, but look at the guy had most dangerous corners in 1996 to where he didn't run into any of that stuff. Super cool little car. In a coupe, Malibu Classic in a coupe. Callaway, Grand Prix, Aztec coming on up, man. I'm waiting on them hinges. The hinges were a little bit of a bear to find. They're found, and I got new hinges. So this thing will go back together beautifully. 67,000 original miles. Got a brand new car over here that I haven't even showed yet. And I'm gonna give it a whole repaint. It's a Volvo Coupe 242 DL. Um, it's a very clean little car. It's starting to get a little corrosion on the drip rails. It's got a couple spots on it starting, like right here. And little spots like that starting. Can you get them all taken care of while it's down? Now, this guy actually tried to put something over a couple pieces. There's the worst spot on the car right there. I'm gonna weld in a new piece of new metal and get that out of there. And I got a set of bumpers I might put on it. We took the grill out. Um, this thing's gonna have to be detailed before we get into it too much farther. So we're going at it the wrong way, guys. We're gonna have to talk to people. He's got in here actually before I seen it. That guy paid somebody in a parking lot to do that, I'll bet you. 2.1, 242DL. Nice little coupe. Clean little car, I'm gonna make sure it has that color wheels when I'm done. Um, and you'll see this one coming up through the ranks here. And I'm gonna show you the inside. It's just a clean little car, 122. 111. That's why I like being wrong. This thing ain't got blue plates. It ain't got nothing on that little um, Grand Marquis. And there ain't nothing little about that Grand Marquis. So, one owner car guy. Lots of cool, unique stuff coming up. Lazy Days camper coming up. BMW, ooh, we got the line on it. Yes siree. That looks good. Looks real good. Uh, 
I like it. That van is nice. All kinds of cars coming up, man. I gotta get them. Get them out of here. The Nomad Skyline, I'll make you a deal on that. Um, OneOwnerCarGuy.com StockGambles.com for all your stock and all your cool... There's a $10 off SodaStream coupon on there. And free shipping. You can check out StockGambles.com BeaglesPocket.com for all your cool little cute beagle puppies. All that. Hardener.com Putting a lot of health and fitness stuff on there. Man, other than that, don't know what to tell you. I've told you about all of it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is. Wherever you are. And... That's all. I haven't showed you the stuff up top, but I did last time. There's nothing new up top, is there? Okay. Yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching, and with that, I'll show you this, and we'll say goodbye. Goodbye! www.myw140.com We'll talk to you.